This is the Closet Confessions Zara shop up. So I'm doing it on my own. I ordered quite a few things from Zara. I'm gonna take you through what I ordered because some of you hate that I shop at Zara and some of you love it and say to me, please do a Zara shop up. So I didn't have time to go in. So I'm just gonna show you some stuff and we're gonna see also if I keep it or not and why I bought it and where it has a place in my wardrobe. So starting off with box number one. And I did this also um, midnight shopping, so I can't remember what, what I got. I think I was going through a phase of, shall I get some different colored jumpers? I remember I looked through and there was definitely replenish things I love because I don't know how much longer they're gonna be at Zara. And that is my t-shirt tops. I wear the plum one for working out and I have matching leggings, but after a while, these shoulder pads go. So I just thought I'm gonna get a couple more. They are, I think, 12 pounds, but I love them. The color of the burgundy is so soft and they'll be in my wardrobe for as long as they last in terms of washing. This was interesting. I typed in to the Zara website shoulder pad because I'm obsessed with shoulder pads. I wear them all the time. I got them on now. I've got this one. It's not usually the color I wear, but we're gonna see what it's like. On its own, it's not my best shade. So I need something else there. So I could do, oh, you know what I could do? Because this color is a beautiful neutral. It's great with neon yellow. The tragedy in life, I have to tell you, is my neon yellow essential Antwerp top I've lost. But I do have this Gussie and Lou one, which is the closest I've got to my neon. And I'm really using it today for the neon sleeves because over it, I'm gonna put this color, which is neutral but I love, if you do match to me on Trini London, you'll get a sense of what colors go with colors and a way of wearing these colors. These neutral colors can be with some neon to make them fun. So I adore that actually, and I'll do that with jeans. I'm also going to try it with the Zara coat that I got a couple of weeks ago. And I was sort of thinking, do I want to keep it or not? But there's something interesting about these softer colors. As long as I've got that poking out like that, I like that color combination. If you're letting your hair go lighter or going gray, or you have a very blonde hair, then these are always gonna be really pretty colors. Generally, if you have a sort of peaches and cream, blonde hair, blue eye kind of complexion. I thought, am I that person? I have much darker hair, but there's something I like about this. It's just a different color set. And it's about not being dark in winter in your color palette. It's a way to just bring in some more natural tones. And I think this depth helps me wear this coat because the coat on its own could be washing out, especially without the neon, like that. But as soon as I bring these depths of tones in, it works. I would wonder what I'd wear on my bottom half. I could wear jeans, but it's just, I love that combination. This coat is, I'm wondering about it. I've got to make it work. And if I don't make it work by the end of the day, I'm gonna send the whole lot back. So I got to think how often I could wear this kind of combo. I had wanted to get these. I'd seen them in the store for ages. They're cargo pants. They're from their Staples collection. I don't know if it means Staples, one second. Surplus, S-U-R-P-L-S. And I'm going to be in Africa at after Christmas. And it's going to be quite cold in the morning. So I'm thinking I could have everything in my pockets, my phone, everything I need. I love the idea of actually utilizing a cargo pack concept. I just, just thought I'll try them. So what do we think? Do we think they should stay or go? This is a little chat about upping the ante on what's most casual in your wardrobe. So I recently got these sweatpants from Zara. So comfortable, I cannot tell you, just delicious. And they came with a zip up hoodie, which wasn't right for me. I saw also when I typed in to Zara shoulder pad tops, because I'm obsessed with having shoulder pads in my things, that they have this t-shirt. Now you could do that, I, I wouldn't do that. Or you could tuck it in just to give some shape. But this is very nice one because the shoulder is padded and it goes down to just above the elbow. It's very similar to a New York design called Tibby and it's a tenth of the price. So I love that. But I want to be able to go out for lunch and not feel like I'm hanging out at home being really chilled. So I'm going to put on a sleeveless jumper. This is me and M. I got it this season just for continuation of that grey. A little bit of white at the bottom. And then I'm going to add an old Stella McCartney jacket to have that grey going through my outfit but topping and tailing with white. So now I've gone from what was just casual sweatpants to really ultimate comfort, which is why we wear sweatpants, but some tailoring on the top, extra shoulder pad, those little flashes of white here at the waist and at the bottom. These are Russell Romney trainers. 
And now I feel I can just have the best Sunday feeling dressed down, but having a certain structure to my outfit. And to finish it off, I'm just adding in a scarf, Dries van Noten, a little shimmer, just to have a continuation down the whole outfit. This was also the thing when I put in shoulder pads, the stress came up. Really strong shoulder pads in it, very strict across. Figure hugging. The length means that I don't know what shoe I'd wear with it. I might just wear a flat evening shoe. I've got all my boots at the moment. The back is, you wouldn't be able to wear a bra. Well, you'd have to wear a bra that goes across at the bottom, you know, around your waist. But the shape is beautiful. And it's sort of little, very tiny paillettes, very tiny sequins. But it's all about that shoulder. It's kind of a fabulous, cozy, sexy, warm dress to wear in the evening for the party season. I love it. <laughs> It's black, but the reflectiveness of the black means that sort of when it catches strong light, it has white in a way running through it as a reflection. So it doesn't seem so dense. It's it pushes back some light. And that's something that is a forever piece because I'm going to always wear it at that moment when I want warm evening wear, where I feel everything's covered and yet shape and form are shown. And I will never, ever not love a shoulder pad because as I go down the path of life, my shoulders might become weaker in the posture of my body. And this will always make sure that I have them. So if you lived the shoulder pad land in the 80s, you might find it tricky with shoulder pads. You can always push them in a bit. I love the exaggeration. I just love it. American footballers, here we come. I have lots of velvet trouser suits. I don't always wear them, but I'm always attracted to them. And I got rid of quite a few last year and then I bought some more. This is one I don't know if I'm going to keep, but it's green velvet. It's what I call it's a beautiful, it's a colour velvet that my father always had in smoking jackets in the 60s. I don't know about it. It's very short in the sleeve. It's a bracelet sleeve, so it really needs help. Uh, let me just get a bracelet. I've got with it at the moment some boots, which are from... Zara as well. I have lots. I don't need these boots. I just think I, what I loved is the heel, but they are very similar to a pair I have from Prada a few years ago. They've definitely copied the shape but changed the front. So I got to find them. They're in black. And I think that black suede would be softer, but they make my legs look long because these are really cropped trousers. So I could wear it like that with a t-shirt, chilled. The sleeve I'm not happy with. So I'm going to try it with a much longer shirt and see what that does. But the color is everything. If you love this color green, it reads a little greener and here it looks more like a bottle green than an emerald. It's a bottle green, this colour. Trousers have no pockets. But the whole thing is quite stretchy, you know, which is quite comfortable. And if you sit, the good thing about these boots is they go high enough up that if you sit with a cropped trouser, you don't have that moment going on like that. They're longer than my other boots and I have a lot of crop trousers. So that would be the only reason I would consider keeping them. But they're very square toed, which is something I'm not used to. They're a really well designed boot. And I feel they make my legs are long because look how long my legs look now. And if I take them off, you can just see the reality. There, bit stunted. Whereas with this boot, oh, Trini has long legs, you know, which I don't have for my body. They're good elongation of the leg. Now let's try and make the suit work with something other than a t-shirt. This is wife shirt and I've got these bits coming out the end that I could put over the sleeve. I mean they're usually with a long cuff. Hide that and have them over as if this is intentional. I don't know. And then there's a bow here and I could make the whole thing quite bow like that. It's nice. I don't think that works. And I think the green is off as well. I think this might be going back because I think the jacket is quite short for me. Like this is where the waist ends here and my waist is actually here. It's all too high up on my body. For somebody who's sort of five foot six, it might be the perfect proportion or shorter, but I think anyone five foot seven and above, it's just this suit is not working. That's not staying. In case anyone's in love with it, I think a colour you can wear with this colour is turquoise because I had to remind myself, I looked in my book and it, I had put it with turquoise, this colour green. So you could do that. This is an old Prada jumper. I then pull up the sleeves, but I hate that there are not pockets in these trousers. I have to say, I really do. But that would be colour choices, really good colour combinations to wear together. Okay, 
next. So this is about the skirt. It's a sequin green skirt. Very pretty green. Dark sage green maybe. I'm wearing it with a really old kite jumper that I got in a pre-loved sale. I love the idea of a very cosy, thick, heavy jumper with a sequin skirt and a pair of flat boots for daytime. I love that skirt. I think the shape is gorgeous. It's not cut on the bias. It just goes straight down. It's got a beautiful winter sheen colour to it. You can just do it floppy like that. Just no structure where you could tuck it in a bit. I'd probably dress this skirt down. I don't know if I'd wear it in the evening with a pretty silk shirt or not. I might do. This is a sequence during the day skirt for me or Christmas sort of daytime party stuff where you want to be smart. If I was wearing a jacket with it, that's quite difficult. Don't know what color I would wear. I might wear a coat with it. Let me try and look here. I might do this. This is not really gonna work, but this is like a Loden green, the Austrian jacket. The color has that green in the lining here, there, like that. So I could do that. It feels more countryside, weekendy. It's nice, but let me just think what else might be out there beckoning to me. I might do this. Really old. The thing is, the colour's wrong, and I realise now I have a, a jumper. I mean, I have a coat from Zara from years ago. Would I just do a sort of melange of greens? I think I might actually. I think the colours are okay together. They're not the best. Might be better with navy. Let me try something else. That was a very old Celine. I mean, I like navy and khaki a lot. I I think I prefer that actually, because also I prefer the structure of that oversized coat. It's throwing out a brighter blue than it is. I think I like it there. Last thing now, there's this, which looked amazing on the 18 year old girl who wore it with a pair of shorts in the same sequin. So I would only wear it with a trouser and then I think it's becoming quite conservative, like quite a few sequin jackets I've already got. Got one button here like that. Length is nice. It's actually a very nice paillette with a pattern like that. So it would work for lots of people. You could wear it open. So if you think I'd like a sequin jacket, what's good, it's long, it's fitted, it has no lapel, it's got a great sleeve. It looks more expensive than it is. And that's it. That's my Zara shop up. So hope you enjoyed it. And I think I'm gonna send back the bottle green suit, this, cause I'm just showing you this. I am wondering about this. I'm trying to convince myself to keep this. And I just feel, will I really wear it? And should I send back that oatmeal coat as well? So we'll see. What do you think I should do?